Hi, I'm Natalie Rhodes, and this is Into Math's fifth grade, module four, lesson one. I'm going to start off with the I can objective here. It says, I can write a numerical expression to model a real world situation, and I can interpret a numerical expression. The learning objective is just to write a numerical expression. Prior learning is that students represented statements of multiplicative comparison as multiplication equations. Students solved world, word problems involving multiplicative comparisons by using multiplication or division. Now jumping into the lesson, it starts with a word problem that says a drum line is made up of 14 fourth grade drummers and 12 fifth grade drummers. The fourth grade drummers stand in a line and the fifth grade drummers stand in a line behind them. Draw a visual model of the situation. Describe how you can represent how many more drummers are in fourth grade than in fifth grade. Okay, so we're going to draw and then we're going to explain what's going on. So I know that I need to read it again and pick out my numbers. So it says a drum line is made up of 14 fourth graders, fourth grade drummers, and 12 fifth grade drummers. So I have 14 fourth graders and 12 fifth graders, and the fourth graders stand in a line, and then the fifth graders stand behind them. So I'm just going to draw that out as if they were actually in a drum line. So I'm going to start with my fourth graders here, and I'm going to draw 14 circles to stand for the students. So one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay? And the fifth grader says it stands right behind them. So then my fifth graders are going to stand in a line here. And I'm just going to draw circles right beneath them. And I'm going to try to line them up as best I can. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve fifth graders. All right, so I drew my visual model, but then it says describe how you can represent how many more drummers are in fourth grade than in fifth grade. Well, we kind of did that already. So if we see if the drummers are all lined up in lines here, and then my extras are just going to be off to their own. So then how many extra students are in fourth grade than fifth grade. Well, we would have two extras. So I want you to write that in your own words in a complete sentence, but right now I'm just gonna write fourth has two more, just to give you a general idea of what we're looking for. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the build your understanding question number one. It says, every day, Thora practices each page of this music six times. Draw a visual model to show the number of pages Thora practices each day. Explain your visual model. Okay, remember, when I always say go back, look for your numbers, sometimes it's a little bit tricky because if there's an image giving you information, it might not tell you in the actual words in the word problem. So it says, every day, Thora practices each page of this music. What music? Well, if you look over in this image, they're talking about this music here. And if you look, there's different colored pages. There's a blue, a white, and then like a beigey yellow, and then a blue. So there are four pages of music that Thora practices six times a day. All right, so now we're going to draw that visual model. So I'm just going to draw my um, four pages and have that be one time. And then the second time, she's going to do all four pages again, and so on. As the third time, the fourth time through, the fifth time through, and the sixth time through. Okay, so I drew my visual model. Now explain your visual. Okay, so I want you to do that on your own. I'm going to go through these next three problems and I want you to do them all together and then I'll go over them in the end. Okay, so for A, it says which operation describes a situation? Remember, operation is the adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing. And then how do you know? So explain how you know which one it is. 
B, how can you model the number of pages of music Thora practices each day using a numerical expression? Remember, numerical expression is um, our two numbers and the operation in between them. So go ahead and write that, that expression. And then C, describe what the numbers and operations sign in your numerical expression represent. So explain the first number, what is it standing for, what is the operation standing for, and that second number, what does it mean in our problem, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and have you hit pause here and then go ahead and finish the rest of this page. All right, coming on back. So uh, um, when you're explaining your visual model, you want to say something like um, the four across the top are my four pages, and then the six going down would be my six times repeating the music. So the four are the, um, oops, sorry, excuse me. The four are the pages and the six would be the amount practiced. But again, you wanna do that in complete full sentences. All right, so A, which operation describes a situation? That's gonna be multiplication. So you're taking your four and you're kind of doing repeated addition, right? You're doing four, 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 four. Okay, when you have repeated addition, that is in its essence multiplication. Okay, and then you can explain how you knew. Um, you can say repeated addition. You can say um, multiple groups. You know, if you have multiple groups, you know you're going to be multiplying. Anything like that um, is totally acceptable. For B, you want to model our numerical expression. So we have our four pages. We know we're multiplying, and we know we're going to be multiplying those four pages six different times. So our expression would be four times six. And then describe what the numbers and operation sign in your numerical expression represent. So again, just like at the top, the four are the pages. That X is our multiplication. And our six is the practice amount. All right, that is it for today. I'm going to have you go ahead and finish the rest of the lesson, and then I will see you again for Module 4, Lesson 2.